So in this video, we're going to look at installing the Chessbase Opening Encyclopedia 2011 in one of the Fritz family of playing programs, by which I mean Fritz 12, uh, Ribka 4, Shredder 12, Junior 12, Hyarx 13, all these uh, use the same interface, the same graphical interface, so they all pretty much look exactly the same when you load them up. Uh, there may be some difference to colours and superficial differences, but the programs themselves are the same. Obviously what's different and what's most important is the chess engines inside the actual chess playing brain part of the program. But uh, whichever one of those programs, this process will be exactly the same. So for right now I'm going to use Fritz 12 and uh, I've loaded up Fritz 12. I've also put the Chesspace Open Encyclopedia 2011 disk into the disk drive of the computer and so we need to open the database which is on that disk. So from the main uh, Fritz window, I'll just call it Fritz now, um, whichever program you have, go to the Home tab and then click on the Database button. Uh, this brings up your last used database and from here go to the Application menu on the top left, click to, bring the, to drop the menu down and go to Open. Uh, this brings up a list of, uh, of files in a Windows Explorer window. You need to navigate to your disk drive of your computer. I'm on Windows 7, but I'm going to do it. It should be pretty similar whichever version of Windows you have. If you navigate to the computer, uh, that shows you the drives on your computer. You've, uh, I've got two disk drives and a hard disk drive. Here you can see the Openings 2011 disk with the familiar chess-based Black Knight logo. You can click on this and click open or just double click which will open the contents of the disk drive in this window. You can see there's four folders and this is the file we want, the Open Encyclopedia 2011.cbh. Uh, when you're ready to go you can double click that or single click and click open. Uh, and now you can see the database window has changed somewhat. It's actually opened the, uh, the database which is on the disk in the database window. Uh, which is fine, what we're actually doing here is we're accessing the database as it is on the uh, DVD of the Open Encyclopedia. But really, to get the best use and to get the fastest searches and the most efficient use out of it, uh, what you want to do is install that database onto your hard drive. And uh, just like Chessbase, there is a way of doing this automatically. So here you are in the database window with your Open Encyclopedia uh, loaded. If you go to the database tab, you'll see here there's a section marked database and a button marked database functions. That little arrow means when you click it you'll get a drop down menu. And here you can see. Here are the options and the one that we're interested in is install on hard drive. When you click on that you'll get this window um, which is asking you to where do you want that database installed on your hard drive. Um, so you'll see copy open encyclopedia 2011 and we're going to copy as an individual database to hard disk we can't choose the other option that's grayed out anyway but this is the one we want and this is asking where we want to save it now you'll notice uh, chessbase just automatically saved it into the documents chessbase and openings folder you can see it's also given as the default uh, option here as well you can change this if you want to uh, but as with all chessbase installations I always say stick with the default uh, settings, it just avoids or uh, minimizes any problems in the future. So if you're ready to go, uh, click OK. And there you go, instantly you can see uh, a familiar Windows uh, status bar has appeared and it's telling you it's copying items, so there's nearly two gigabytes of data there that's been copied over. Also gives you a rough idea of how long that's going to be. Um, but you can see this green bar filling up here. When that reaches the end, that process is done. Uh, the speed that this will happen depends on a few things. Depends how fast your computer processor is, how much memory you have, and indeed how fast your disk drive is. So on uh, faster computers it will be faster, and older computers it may take a little bit longer than this. So you can see it is working now. We're well over halfway in the process. Uh, this is basically just to sit back and let it happen. In the other, in the other videos I pause this bit, we'll, but we'll just see this through to the end so you can see the exact process and how and what happens. You can see it's uh, counting down the seconds now. The seconds sometimes change. Uh, Windows isn't always 100% accurate on its time remaining, uh, but it at least gives you some idea whether you need to 
whether you can just sit and wait or whether you need to go down the shops and do some shopping in the meantime. Anyway, so here we go, that's finished. Now then, you'll notice nothing has changed. That's because even though it's installed on the hard drive, you're still looking at the database as it is on uh, the disk. So you actually need to open that database itself. So if we go back to the application menu, go to open, and so as you can see, what you've got here is the openings um, disk. We want to navigate to our chessbase folder, which is usually in documents and then chessbase. Um, and the one we installed it to was openings. So remember, this you really need to navigate to the folder that you installed to in that installation process earlier on in the video. Um, if you install to the default location as I recommended, it should be installed here. So documents, chessbase, and openings. So if we double click on openings, you'll see um, here is the opening encyclopedia. Click once, click open. And the window has changed, but it's actually the same information, but now you're reading the information on the computer hard, hard disk. Uh, this will make uh, searches quicker and um, means you don't have to have the disk in your disk drive all the time. So there you go, uh, that's the installation process for the Open Encyclopedia 2011 using one of the Fritz family of playing programs. So you can see that whether you have Chessbase or Fritz, the process is very simple indeed. Thanks for watching the video.